Okay, so today we start with the linear equation in two variables. First of all, what is a linear equation? A linear equation is a equation in which whose variable power is one. Okay, suppose let's say we have a equation a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Here x and y are here x and y are variable. Your x and y are variable, and a, b, c are constant. Here the x power is one and y power is one. That's why we call it as a linear equation. It doesn't matter where it belongs to. There are two variables, three variables. Just we introduce a term linear equation. A x plus b y plus c z is equal to zero. It is also a linear equation. Here x, y, and z are variable. So we see that. Here a x plus b y plus c z is equal to zero. Here x y z are variable. Here x power is one, y power is one, z power is one. That's why it is a linear equation. It is a linear equation in three variable, and the first one is a linear equation in two variable because there are two variable. So when I do the term, what is the linear equation in two variable? Okay. So now we introduce the term solution of a linear equation. What is the solution of a linear equation? Let's say we have an equation a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. It is a linear equation in two variable because here x and y are variable and a b c are constant. That's why it is a linear equation in two variable. X and y are x and y are variable and a b c belongs to any real number. And the condition for it is a linear equation in two variables is a and b should not be equal to zero. If a and b is equal to zero, then it become a linear equation in one variable or with or not a linear equation. That's why we always say that it is a linear equation in two variables. The condition is a and b is not equal to zero. Now we introduce the term a uh, solution of a linear equation. What is the solution of a linear equation? It can be written as a x plus b y is equal to minus c. So we can write a x is equal to minus c minus b y. So x can be written as minus c minus b y upon a. Here for every value of a, here for every value of x, there there will be a value of y. Suppose If we put y equal to one, then we get a value of x minus c e minus b upon a. Suppose we put y is equal to zero, then the value of x is will, will become minus c e by. A. If we put y equal to two, then we get the value of x as minus c e minus two b upon a. I just want to say that for every value of y. There will be a unique value of x. If you put a different value of y, you get a different value of x. So we can say that a linear equation in two variable, a single linear equation in two variable has infinite solution. As we see that for every value of y, you get a different value of x. So we conclude from here that a linear equation. We conclude from here that a linear equation. A linear equation. a linear equation in two variable has infinite solution for example if you want to see that how it it is possible for example let's say we take a random equation 2x plus 3y Plus c is equal to zero, and we have to know the solution of this equation. We just get the value of y. Uh, sorry, we guess we just get the value of x is x is equal to minus c minus three y upon two. From here, we conclude that when we put y equal to zero, we get a value of x as minus c by two. When you put y equal to one. 
you get a value of x is minus c minus 3 by 2 when you put value of y equal to 2 you get x is equal to minus c minus 6 upon 2 it proves that for every value of y there will be unique value of x so we can say that this equation has an infinite solution for every value of y you get a unique value of x so single linear equation i just use the word a single linear equation in two variable has infinite solution possible okay now we talk about a pair of linear equation now we talk about a pair of linear equation let's say we take a two linear equation the first equation will be a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 now we talk about a pair of linear equation both simultaneously if we talk a single equation like a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and we ask about the solution of this equation then we say that there are infinite solution similarly for a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 there are infinite solution possible but when we talk about a pair of equation pair of linear equation both the equation simultaneously and any value of x and y which satisfy both the equation simultaneously then we say that there is a unique solution okay and for finding this solution we have a three method for finding the solution of a linear equation in two variable okay today we discuss with the first method the first method is elimination elimination by substitution the first method is elimination by substitution what we do is in the in this method as the name suggests that first of all eliminate one value and substitute in another equation like if we have a two equation put the substitute and eliminate the value of x from my first equation and substitute it substitute it in another equation for example we are, we understand this method with the help of an example okay let's say we have equation 2x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 and another equation is 3x plus 2y plus 4 2x 3x plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 now we use the method of elimination by substitution how we solve this equation with this method give the name the equation let's say suppose this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 from the equation number 1 we find the value of x is From this equation, we find the value of x. 2x become minus 6 minus 3y upon 2, sorry, minus 6 minus 3y. So we get the value of x minus 3, sorry, minus 6 minus 3y upon 2. This is the value of x. Now, what we have to do the, this what we have to do is put this value of x in the equation number second put the value of x in equation number second what is our equation number second 3x plus 2y equal to plus 4 equal to 0 put this value of x in this equation 3 minus 6 minus 3y upon 2 plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 now it become a single equation in one variable and do you know how to solve a single equation in one variable just solve it down i'll solve it this by multiplying minus 18 by 2 minus 9y by 2 plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 this will become minus 9 minus 9y by 2 plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 
what does this become? On solving minus 9 plus 4, you get minus 5. And on solving this to minus 9 by, by 2 plus 2y, what I do is plus 2y minus 9 by, by 2. It becomes minus 5 plus 4y minus 9y by, by 2 equal to 0. Shift this value of 5, 5 on another side, you get 4y minus 9y by 2 equal to 5. 4y minus 9y will become minus 5y and on multiplying on this 5 multiplied by 2 you get 10. So y will, y will become 10 by minus 5. So y will become minus 2. You cut the value of y as y equal to minus 2. Now find the value of x. Put this value of y in any one of the equation. Either put it in equation number 1 or put it in another equation number 2. You get your value of x.